Jensen says that he believes inference is going to be 1 billion times larger than training. And one, if we 1 take billion a step back, times I'll larger than training. Bit. I don't know what that right? means. Does think that mean about, in like just the iterations or is he talking about overall compute needed for it? I just don't, I don't know what he means here. If you guys know, let me know. Food training as like compile time. You know, if we go back out of the AI era, right? How often yeah. do you compile a piece of software versus like how many times is it run? You can I mean, is he just talking about, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's talking, he's talking about compute needed for it, right? Alexander? Yeah, I, I would agree. And even make sure. a comparison, right? You know, which is interesting because if that's true, then like some of the portable devices, the phones and things that we use, they're probably going to be one of the next big changes in chip infrastructure. Um, to be able to account for the inference difference. That's what I'm thinking. It'll be very interesting to see if that's what how it plays out. And if that is the truth, we need to figure out who are going to be the chip makers that are going to build these phones of the future. Will it be a Qualcomm? Will it be somebody else? Um, so I, I'm probably going to pay attention to Qualcomm earnings. 